Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in aesthetics and we're going to do problem 2.47, okay? It says, determine the magnitude and orientation counterclockwise from the positive y-axis of the resultant force acting on the bracket if f of b is equal to 600 newtons and theta is equal to 20 degrees. So in order to find the resultant force, what I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to decompose f of a and f of b into its uh, Cartesian vector form. So let's just start with f of a. So for f of a, in the x direction, we're going to have 700 newtons multiplied by the cosine of 60 degrees. Okay. So if we use the calculator, we're going to find 700 cosine of 60 and it will give us 350 newtons. Let's do f of a in the y direction. So it's going to be 700 sine of 60 degrees, which is going to be equal to 700 sine of 60 it's equal to 606.2 newtons. Okay, now we can do f of b. So if we do f of b in the x direction, we're going to do 600 newtons multiplied by the cosine of 20 degrees. So if we do 600 cosine of 20 degrees, it's going to be equal to 500 and 63.8 newtons. Let's do f of b in the y direction. It's going to be 600 multiplied by the sine of 20 degrees, which is going to be equal to 600 sine of 20. That's equal to 205.2 newtons. In order to find the resultant, so we're gonna add the x component. So resultant in the x direction is going to be equal to the 350 newtons for f of x. Actually, f of b in the x direction has to be negative since it's going to the left minus the 563.8. Okay, if we do this, we get 350 minus 563.8, we get negative 213.8 newtons. Uh, now let's do the resultant in the y direction, which is going to be f of a y, which is 606.2 plus 205.2 and, and this is going to be equal to so 606.2 plus the 205.2 811.4 newtons okay in order to find the magnitude what we're going to do is that we're going to play Pythagorean theorem so the magnitude of the resultant force it's going to be the negative 213.8 squared plus the 800 811.4 squared so if we use the calculator we do the square root of the negative 213.8 squared plus 811.4 squared and this will give us a total of 839 newtons okay so we found the magnitude now we need to find its direction and they want it counterclockwise from the positive y-axis so let's draw first the resultant the resultant is going to have a direction that is to the left and up so it's probably something like this. And they want us to find the angle that goes counterclockwise from the y axis. So this angle over here, we're going to call it, let's not call it theta since we already have a theta, let's call it gamma. Okay. So gamma 
is going to be equal to the inverse tangent of it should be opposite over adjacent so the opposite in this case is the x value so for the x value we have 213.8 divided by 811.4 let's see what it gives us in the calculator so we get the inverse tangent of 213.8 divided by 811.4 and this is equal to 14.76 so gamma is equal to 14.76 degrees okay so this is the magnitude and the direction for our sultan so thank you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video okay